Right when I think, wait, wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. Hello, I hope you're having a good day, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. But as I was saying, right when I think, or just when I think, that I've read that, that the God of the Bible and the pages of this book has just blown me away, and I can't read anything else that's just going to just move me like what I've just read, <laughs> I find out that I'm wrong. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. It is an amazing thing to serve the God of the Bible. And I want to say to all of you who are watching, read the Bible. Study the Bible. And I know you got to read other books and, and whatnot and, and uh, commentaries and different things and, and, and books that are not even biblical. You know, you, you may want to read, uh, I don't know, whatever it is people read. <laughs> magazines and everything is out there. But let me tell you, make time and make room for the word of the Lord. I'm so excited about uh, uh, what the Lord showed me tonight uh, that I'm going to talk about in scripture. And by the way, I want to say to the saints and the members of the upper room, uh, thank you for the way that you've been coming out on Thursday nights. I tell you, we have really gotten off to a magnificent start in 2019. And I really appreciate pastors like uh, Pastor James Parker and Pastor Charles Washington, uh, Pastor Wayne Jones. Uh, these men, men of God, they come, they visit, they bring their wives with them, uh, bring members of their congregation to be a part of our Thursday night Bible study. And they don't have to do it. There's no mandate. There's no requirement. But they enjoy getting the word of the Lord to the degree that they've been coming and visiting with us. And how, how, however long that lasts, I really appreciate their appreciation for the word of the Lord and their willingness to make time to come and hear the word. And the members of the upper room, you're the best. So tonight, I'm, I'm just excited about what I want to show you in scripture, but I will say this. I'll let this part out. You have nothing to fear. If you're walking in anxiety, if you're walking in fear, if you, if the devil is trying to threaten you and make you think that, uh, that, uh, he's got the upper hand. I'm here to tell you that the God of the Bible has not changed and what he has said and what he has promised it will come to pass. Now, I've got to cut this off before I tell you where, uh, where I'm coming from and, 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 and reveal my scripture. I'm hiding it, Gary. I'm putting my hands over the Bible so they won't see it. I'll see you tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I love you. God bless you.